Hi everybody, Alex Deploy here from Expert Forex. And in today's video, I'm going to give you a brief overview of a recent webinar that was held for owners of the Double in a Day EA. The objective of this webinar was to give owners the ability to, to get more out of this particular EA. So in today's webinar, we're going to cover the following. We're going to look at an overview of the double in and a day history. We're going to overview the resources available to owners, which they don't, uh, they don't often use. We are going to overview how the double in a day EA works. And I'm going to show you how to create Double in a day strategies using the Excel spreadsheet. And then lastly, we're going to have a, have a look at ways how you can dramatically improve your performance when using the double in a day EA. So let's get straight into it. Before the double in a day EA, I was running a couple of webinars where I managed to double accounts in one trade using a special manual top up system. After a while, we realized that we can actually automate this manual system, and that's how the double in a day EA started. The EA is basically a system where you trade manually, you spot a deal with high potential, you then employ the EA who will top the deals up as many times as you instruct it to, and it will double your account. Now, the, the further benefit of this is that once it starts topping up, your total deal becomes risk-free. In other words, should all these top-ups be stopped out at some stage or the other, should the price retrace, you will be stopped out at break even. So you have a risk-free transaction. So this EA does two things. It automates the top-up process and it also makes sure that you don't expose yourself to high risk by making sure that when, if you get, do get stopped out at any point after the first top up, it is on a risk free basis. The further advantage of this EA is it takes away the emotional side of the trade. Once you put the trade on, it's best to go to sleep and let the EA handle it because doubling your account in one trade is quite an emotional experience and sometimes people override the EA or cash in prematurely and do all kinds of funny things uh, and they don't let the EA do its work. So that's a bit of background. The EA is uh, roughly five years old right now. It, it has gone through a bit of a development phase. We have added elements of it which uh, that clients have asked us to, but in its essence, the EA is a top-up EA that helps you get more out of your deals. You don't always have to double your deals. It gets more out of your deals. You can enter it using market orders or you can enter it using pending orders. So that's that's the EA in a nutshell and how it, got, uh, how it developed and how it got automated. So let's have a look at the resources available to owners of this particular EA. Okay, so now there are four main sources available to the uh, owners of the EA. There are, there's lots of information available on the EA factory website. There's lots of information on the actual Double in a Day website and on the YouTube channel and in the forums. So we'll go through all of those at one by one. Okay, so let's have a look at the resources available on the EA Factory website. Now I am on the download section of the EA Factory website. You only get to this section if you have purchased an EA. The EAs get listed that you have purchased and you can then download them at the bottom here. And so let's have a look. On the double in a day EA, the late, there's the latest version that's available and there is the product download. So just click on that and you can download the product. But more importantly, there's also a user guide. Now the user guide supplies you with a lot of really good information. I would thoroughly recommend that you go through the user guide, not reading it word for word, but just skim through it to see what kind of information is in the user guide that will help you with this EA. It explains 
all the settings and the process of installing the EA. It also explains the error messages that you might get so that you don't have to contact the support. The error messages are explained in the guide. Very important. So there's a huge amount of information available in the user's guide. Then if you look at the product information side, you will notice that things like the webinars that we have are shown there and how you can join those particular webinars. And more importantly, it's got the Get Started materials. Very, very important, those Get started, started materials. In order to gain access to the Dublin Day training, the free Udemy course on Dublin Day trading, the Excel spreadsheets, and much more, you need to click on that link. That link will take you to uh, the welcoming page of the Dublin Day EA. And I'll just quickly jump to that page. Here's the welcoming page, and it tells you a whole lot of stuff about the joint venture, the Dublin in a day EA tells you about the forum videos the courses so there's the forum detail the uh, Udemy course which is a free course to everybody I'll show you that course pretty soon and then uh, here's the the download to the double in a day Excel spreadsheet and much more so all your critical information is contained on your welp welcoming page and also access to videos and trading material so remember to click on that link and then go and click on all the links in this welcoming page one of the links will take you to the Udemy course here it is and uh, it's been done by no less than 3700 students so go and do this course for free using the link provided in the welcoming letter also one of the links will bring you to the Dublin a day website where there are lots of inf uh, where lots of information is made available firstly the videos on Dublin a day if you click on there you'll see a number of videos I've just uh, I've just clicked on it and let's just have a look there. There's a whole lot of videos that have been listed there. Over and above these videos, we also have a video channel on YouTube, which you can go to. And uh, here it is. I'll cover the YouTube section. We've got playlists on YouTube. We've got over 500 videos on YouTube covering the various uh courses that we have and also uh, topics forex trading topics things like ea testing and optimization there's 27 videos on that hedged forex a whole lot of ones and as you go down you will find and here here's the double in a day playlist there's 57 videos that are related to trading the double in a day ea or finding trades for that particular so there's a huge amount of a support inf information for this particular EA. Then on the website, there are there's a tremendous amount of training information available under the Dublin a Day course side. Here's a quick start guide. You click on that, and it gives you a step by step process to implement the EA and make best use of the EA. There's double in a day trading modular module one two three. There's eight modules there more training there's over enough training on double and day trading for you there's the excel spreadsheet which we'll look at uh, uh, later on because that is essential you cannot trade the double and a day ea without using the excel spreadsheet to create your own strategies uh, then there's advice on finding double and day trades there's cheats that you can do uh, there are straddle straddle way, ways of straddling the market using the double a day ea uh, trading announcements there's there's a huge amount on you i don't want to go through everything but uh, essentially there's no shortage of trading uh, advice and and, and uh, material on this website then there are a whole lot of articles that you can read about double and day trading but the most important thing i think is are the recent trades as you can see we've got trades going back five years and you can go and click on these trades now most of these trades have been analyzed for you they the trades actually say this is how the trade was entered and it gives you how it was entered the technique that was used all that i'm just going to randomly open one of these and just give you an idea of, of what happens uh and i'll just 
uh, G produce three, uh, nine. All right, so so that you see the charts of those particular trades, why they were entered, where they were, and all. You see, there's a nice channel trade chart there again. Channel trade support and resistance. Uh, support and resistance bounces. So you, you just need to go and look at those recent trades to get really good ideas of where you can enter double in the day trades. Remember with a double in a day EA, it is the trader's responsibility to enter the trade. The double in a day will only top it up for you on a risk-free basis. Okay, so now I think I've actually covered the the website and the EA factory side of things let's i'm just going to remind myself yes we've we've basically covered the videos the course the recent trades and articles we've covered the user manual the link to the welcoming letter and the udemy course so we've covered that and then on youtube we've also covered the playlist go and find those play the double and date playlist look at the videos that seem of interest to you there's a lot of playlists covering all our other products but uh, there is quite a lot on double in the day trading and then the forum is also available from the welcoming letter there is a link into the forum let's have a quick look at that so here we have the forum uh, th there are actually a couple of forums on the, this particular forum for the double in a day this is most probably the most popular one but there's some really good things we've got 10 essential tips for becoming a better double in a day trader and a whole lot of other items of interest that that are that are in the forum yeah, you can also ask as many questions as you want, and either myself or users of the EA will answer your questions. Another forum that I must just point out is the Simple and Easy Forex Series Forum. That is a free series available to all expert Forex customers and visitors, and you can actually download the various modules from this forum. But the most important for Double in a day traders is the entries one. It gives you a lot of ideas on how to enter the market using uh, uh, for double in a day trades and the turning points one, which is also a way of finding entries into the market. So I would suggest you download those, study them thoroughly, and that will give you a lot of ideas for double in a day trading. Also, uh, the time of day is very important. You want to enter double in a day trades when the market is volatile and will push through to now let's start looking at the functionality of the double in a day ea basically the ea allows you to specify where you want top ups how much of a gain you you going for in terms of percentage how much you're risking and also how much of your account that you're risking that's the basic inputs that you uh, need. There are some more small ones that are um, of less importance, but you only need to specify those if you select specific methods of entry. So let's go through the inputs very carefully. Um, firstly, the, the first input is uh, what size account do you want to trade? Now, you might have a $10,000 account. You might only want to use $200 of that account to trade the double in a day process so you would then specify $200 there and the EA will know not to use your whole account but to use $200 of your account then you need to tell the EA what kind of trend you going to go for in this case it's 100 pips you can specify 60 pips 30 pips whatever trend you want to go for then it will say how much of a size target you want to enter that's where you enter uh, how much you gain you want to make uh, in this case 105 has been specified to make sure that 100 is in fact achieved then it says well how much do you want to risk initially in this case it was five percent but you can risk how, how many how much you want on the particular deal then it says how often and where do you want to top up so you can decide to top up once twice or three times if you de decide three times like in this case you need to tell it where you want those top ups to happen and then th the next one is uh, the minimum stop distance in, in other words if you are trading across with quite a big spread you don't want to have stops that are so small that the minute the, EA, the the transaction gets activated, it gets stopped out. So you want a minimum stop level. In this case, it was six pips, but you can set it for as many pips as you want. But you've got to give the transactions room to, to trade. Then it says, what 
is your initial stop going to be? You enter what your initial stop needs to be. And uh, the break-even one is not important. You can leave that at naught. Level of sensitivity, also not that important. I normally make that 10. What that means is if the market moves quickly, how much slippage are you ha happy to take and still enter the deal? And then it's the, the, then the big questions are, how do you want to enter? And, the, and here's a drop-down menu that gives you a lot of options. There are four main options. Do you want to sell at market, buy at market? Do you want to sell at a future price or do you want to buy at a future price? So those are the main ones. There are a few other ones like straddles and things like that, more advanced ones, but I'm not going to cover that in this particular video. And then here is the next one is, do you want to top up at break even or do you want to top up at the initial risk of your first transaction? I always choose break even because I want my deals to be risk free after the first top up. But if you think that's not a great deal, you prepare to risk whatever you risk on your first deal, you can also choose that alternative. Now, I'm not going to cover the rest of the uh, settings. They apply to if you use the more advanced entry methodologies what i've shown what i've discussed so far are the ones that are mainly used for double a day trading the next step now is to design strategies now you can design strategies by doing the input as you see it on the screen in fact the, the input that you see on the screen is a double in a day strategy based on three top ups and it will give you a, it will double your account but a lot of traders prefer starting a little bit slower and i'm going to show you how you use the excel spreadsheet to create your own personal strategies so let's move on to that next right so on your screen you'll see the excel spreadsheet which is downloadable from the website under the training materials you can download that onto your computer and it is essential to do this before you use the EA, design your strategies here and then do the input into your EA from the spreadsheet. Be the reason for that is that not all strategies work. You cannot double your account with a 10 pips trend. You can't, there, there's some impossible uh, strategies. So you have to work out what kind of strategies you're going to be using. Now on your screen here are the inputs that we've just gone through on the EA is in the Excel, the main ones that decide your strategy. So it's your account size, how much you want to target, number of pips, initial stop, percentage that you want to risk, uh, your top up levels, uh, and your minimum stop balance, and that type of thing. So all the basic th basic input is on the Excel model. The trick about this model is you need to create a strategy that your stops are more or less all the same size. So if you look on the on this particular strategy, the stops are more or less the same size. So now what I'm going to show you now is maybe one or two different strategies and quite honestly there aren't any rules for creating these strategies except that you need to balance these stops whatever you input needs to balance these stops quite nicely all right so i'm going to now say all right now i'm not going to go for 100 percent anymore I'm, i might go for 50 percent um a risk uh, i might now go for maybe a 60 pip target and I might not go for three top ups I might only go for two top ups how um, how does that stack up so immediately it's telling me no this doesn't balance so so uh, the first thing to do is that the first stop is too is too high so I'll lower that let's uh, let's say I lower that to 13 let's see if what that does to the mo see I'm getting a, a closer balance between so if I lower, lower that to 12 uh, there we are. See, we've got a nice... So now, what I have now is I have a valid strategy because uh, if I if I risk 5% of my account, I go for 50% using a 60 pip target, using an initial stop of 12, I will have a nicely balanced strategy. So all I do is I copy those values into my EA and I can then trade them. 
that's how you create strat alternative strategies. You can also go for, let's say you want to go for 40 pip strategy. Now, again, you can see it's gone out of balance there. So we've got to change something. You can either, either change you can you can check you can play around with what you want to change uh, you can even change when you do your top ups you can say uh, instead of 40 and 60 let's see if that changes anything yeah it, it has improved it let's change the um uh, initial stop make that nine oh, all right okay so we're getting close nine eight seven we're getting close the why this is in red is that it's still your stop distance plus your spread is still more than what that is so it doesn't so it's saying to you you cannot create this strategy because this is below what you've told you your minimum stop level should be so that's why that's in red and that has to change so now something has to change uh, we can't change too many things here uh, the initial uh, one is already quite low so now we're saying okay it's impossible to go for a 50 percent return with a 40 pip target so either the target has to increase see already there's there's a nice improvement and in fact we can reduce this number here and we'll get it oh there there we are so by in increasing the target we have created a possible strategy See how it works? It's really trial and error. There are no rules. I can't teach you how to do this. You've got to play around until you get a fairly balanced stop level. And that is then a valid target. So this one, uh, you can load into the EA and save it as a strategy that we you can risk 5% to make 50% return using a 50 pip trend. Okay, so that's how the uh, the double in a day Excel model uh, model works. You have to use the model first, and then transfer the information into the EA. Much better approach than trying to do it through the you'll, uh, the EA itself. You'll just continuously getting get error messages. Rather use the the this one where you can actually see what's going on. You don't even have to read all the other columns here this column here is the most important one and obviously the input columns so i hope that helps you with the uh, excel spreadsheet don't trade the double in a day if you if you don't know how to use the excel spreadsheet okay so on our agenda for the day we've covered the how the double in a day ea was created we've overviewed all the resources available to the owners and in those resources are lots of resources to show you how to enter the market so there's a, quite a lot of training in there for that how, uh, then we've overviewed how the double in a day ea works by looking at its inputs and we have created some double in a day strategies using the excel spreadsheet so now we were looking at ways to how you can dramatically improve your results using the ea okay so this is the approach that i'm going to recommend to you you don't have to use it but i've from experience this is the way that people that succeed at double and a trading follow this process so let's have a look at at how it works what happens is that a lot of traders buy the double in a day EA and they say, oh, this EA has been designed to double your account in one trade. I'm going to use it that way. Now, that is the pinnacle. You have to be a really good trader to be able to spot 100 pip trends just like that. Now, if you are so good and you've bought it, then certainly go straight ahead and, and do it. The average trader needs a confidence boot, boost. So this is the way that I suggest you get your confidence boost it will also tell you whether you are able to double your account in one day not everybody can do it so let's have a look at, at the way that i suggest you do i'd say step one first do simple trades of 30 pips with no top-ups just no top-ups just you need to create a success rate of at least 40 percent trading th uh, trades that have a 30 pip target and trade those trades until you get a 40 percent success rate if you can't do that it's pointless moving on to the next step you've got to get that and there's a lot of information 
look at the past trades, look at the training that's been given. There's a whole lot of info, but you have to do 10 trades of 30, uh, going for 30 pips and have a 40%. So you don't have to have a huge success rate. A 40% success ratio would be good. Once you've achieved that, then you do those, do another 10 trades using a 30%, uh, a 30 pip target. But this time you add one top up. So maybe at 50% you top that up and you then therefore get an increased gain on your trading so even at 40 percent success rate you will find that you can be profitable once you've proved that you can do this then you move on to the next step which is a 60 pip trend so you start doing transactions of 60 pips with no top-ups don't do that don't complicate it if you can't get a 40 percent success rate with transactions with a 60 pip target don't go any further you're wasting your time but once you've got You've done 10 trades at 40% success rate. Then you can move on and do another 10 trades at 60% 60 pip target with more top ups. Now, in this case, you can use two top ups. You can top up maybe at 40% and then at 50 or 40 and 60. You can decide what you want to do. But at least with a 40% success rate, you are going to make money trading the double in a day technique with two stop ups once you have a reasonable success and you are profitable with that then only move on to 100 pip transactions again do those 100 pip transactions with no top ups you've got to prove to yourself that you can get a 40% success rate trading 100% uh, 100 pip transactions once you've got that under the belt you can then start adding top-ups one top-up maybe two top-ups maybe three top-ups and eventually you will be able to double your account quite regularly using that approach but you cannot run before you can crawl and a lot of traders destroy the double in a day trading careers by trying to run before they can crawl. You've got to do this very systematically. So this is the approach that I suggest that will improve the ch your chances of success tremendously. You, you will fail miserably if you go straight into trying to get 100 pip trades. There's a few reasons for that, not only your own reasons. When the this EA was developed, five years ago the market volatility was four times three to four times what the market volatility is now so it was so much easier to catch 100 pip trends 100 pip trends just happened every day now a 100 pip trend is an unusual thing to catch so it has become more difficult over the years to catch 100 pip 100 pip trends and it takes more skill so what I often recommend is for people to just stay at 30 pips if you've got a good success at, at 30 pips and you are making money there why move on just stay at 30 at 30 pips or stay at 50 pips or wherever your comfort level lies you will be much better off going for smaller gains using smaller targets than trying to go for the ultimate right away so that's my lesson for this video don't try to run and before you can even crawl but you will you must admit that there's a lot of training material uh, available to you there are a lot of actual examples of double in a day trades there are even trades that double the account twice in one trade so there's, there's a huge amount of examples for you to look at. But my advice to you, don't run, try to run before you can crawl. That, and that, using that approach, is where you will get be so much better. And I don't want to put percentage on, but the title of this video is be, uh, How to Increase Your Chances by 50%. It will almost probably increase your chances by much more than 50% uh, if you take a more a more structured approach to your double-a-day trading.
So I hope you've enjoyed this video. From me, Alex Deploy, if you do have any questions, just list the comments in the YouTube commentary section and I will respond to them. Always please remember to like my videos and if you really like them, please share them with your friends. So from me, Alex Deploy, cheerio.